The festival of Navaratri is celebrated in different ways in different parts of India, but the central theme remains essentially the same. It's also marked throughout the diaspora and holds a place of honor on the Durban cultural calendar. Let's take a look at the highlights of this year's festivities held at the Kendra Hall. The vehicles parked outside and the chanting from within the Kendra indicated that this was a special time of the year. And although it was a rainy Devon day outside, the mandir was warm and welcoming when Karusha arrived. I'm honoured to be at this year's Navaratri festival, which is being celebrated for the 22nd year at Durban's Kendra Hall. Navaratri, which directly translated means nine nights, is observed with the greatest integrity and personal joy. While the literal translation is indeed nine nights, the festival actually covers a ten-day period, with ceremonies and festivities continuing through the day and into the evening. The Havan is a rite with ancient Vedic roots, with fire symbolizing the link between the everyday world and the cosmic realm of the divine. Celebrants poured oblations as symbolic sacrifices while responding to prayers intoned by the President of the South African Hindu Mahasabha, Mr. Ashun Trikamji. Mr. Trikamji, welcome to Mela and Navaratri greetings. Thank you to Mela and your team. I know that Navaratri is a very special time for you. The Patni Social Club is now celebrating Navaratri for the 79th year and uh, is hosting this particular celebration here together with the Kendra. It's nine days in my life when I shut myself off from the whole world as it were and dedicate myself to the philosophy of serving the mother. And of course there's no better way in doing that than serving the community that you are born in and brought up with. And of course today is the eighth day, nearly 300 people all participating in a single fire ceremony, singing the praises of the mother in every possible way they can. And with that offering a mixture of grain and ghee to keep the fire burning. And what is the significance of the fire? The oven or yagna as it is called is very crucial in all Hindu ceremonies. Hindus believe that the fire in this world can be destructive and constructive and therefore they want to make sure that the fire is always constructive in their eyes and is a witness to every occasion that is being observed and they feel that by offering that grain and the ghee to the fire they're keeping the flame burning. Do you have a message for all South Africans? South Africans have faced a lot of hardships. Hardships due to a myriad of reasons. Let's spare a thought and spend some time with the have-nots because those are the people that can really add to a festive season because you bring smiles on the face of those people. That to me would be the ultimate celebration for South Africans. Navratri can be celebrated up to four times a year, but it's generally agreed that Sharda Navratri is the most important. The time around the September equinox becomes very busy for the management committee of the Mandir, but it's a responsibility that they are happy to shoulder. Rajesh, welcome to Mela. Thank you. As someone who is involved in organizing these celebrations for years, how do you think it helps to build a sense of community and togetherness? You know, we all come here individually or with our little families. And when we meet up in a place like this, we, we celebrate as a community. We pray not for ourselves. We pray for the community. We pray for South Africa. We pray for the world. The effect of it is tenfold as opposed to doing it individually at home. Navratri celebrates the triumph of the goddess Durga over the buffalo demon Mahisha Sura. And in essence, it's a celebration of good conquering evil, but it's also a time of spiritual renewal. Sunita, welcome to Mela. Thank you. Why is Navaratri so special to you? During Navaratri, I'm always feeling spiritually uplifted. It's because we fast and then we do a lot of pujas. We also do havan every day. And then the highlight of Navratri is every evening we do garba. That is what everybody looks forward to during Navratri. After an intense and beautiful day of prayer, the celebrations will begin and I'm gonna get changed for the occasion. Each of the nine nights is dedicated to an individual avatar of the goddess, covering aspects ranging from peace and knowledge to creativity and beauty, as well as fearsome courage. Similarly, each avatar is linked to a specific color, which becomes part of the visual theme. The venue is beautifully set up. I'm ready, guests are arriving, and I cannot wait to see what tonight's experience has in store. 
While the rituals of the day have an intensely spiritual focus, the evening events are more celebratory, giving members of the community an opportunity to share in the joy of the celebration and enjoy a time of fellowship. Percy, welcome to Mela. Thank you. You have a great job getting to organize some magnificent events for Kendra Hall. What do you enjoy most about your job? Working with the community, creating platforms where, where people come together, unite. There's a sense of togetherness, security for people, and also the main idea is tolerance as well. As part of the evening puja, an arti ritual was performed, symbolizing humility and gratitude to the deity, while the light of the lambs also signified the commitment to attaining a purified state of mind. Mahesh, welcome to Mela. Thank you. How do you feel during Navaratri? It's a fantastic festival and it's a time to connect to the sources, sources of love, sources of the strength, and it's so wonderful to see all the community at large come and enjoy at Kendra. Give us some background as to what it is you do at Kendra Hall. I coordinate all the events. We do about 30 events for the year. And we also provide a service to all various other community and to the uh, religious organization. And over 100,000 people visit this center over a year, which is really fantastic. Traditionally, folk dances are more than mere entertainment and serve to encourage a sense of solidarity within a community. Dance styles vary from region to region, with the Garba originally coming from Gujarat. Dancers form concentric circles around the goddess, expressing their veneration through movement as well as a shared sense of joy. It's all about the vibrancy, the atmosphere and all the dancing, as well as doing the puja, which is very auspicious. For me, it's a religious way to have fun without, you know, upsetting anybody. You come, you dance, you make friends, you meet new people, and then you can just click like that immediately because you all bond over one thing, which is Navratri. From the day into the night, from solemn prayer into dancing, it has truly been a wonderful experience to observe the celebration of Navaratri.